Hey there coaches, today's topic I wanted to just go over two things that are literally going to be a game changer for you. If you're not doing those two things, you're going to get frustrated really quick and your business is not going to move forward because so often, I know this is like horrible to say or horrible to think about I should say, actually I don't even want to say so often, most of the time if something isn't happening in our lives, in our business, whatever, we are the one that's holding ourselves back. And I know you see all those quotes, like, well, I see the quotes on Pinterest about how to not let you get in the way of yourself when it comes to achieving your fitness goals. That applies to every area of your life. If you don't have yourself in order, then you're going to hold yourself back from success. So, I can't even talk. Because of that, I wanted to talk about two things today. I want to talk about the importance of feeding your mind and also time management. So first and foremost, I want to talk about the importance of feeding your mind. You guys know very well by now that one of the three vital behaviors of being a successful coach is personal development, okay? Now, I've shared with you guys multiple times about my struggles with this business, how I struggled for probably the first nine months, and all of that. And I shared a post on Facebook yesterday about how even lately, even though my business has grown so much, there has been times lately where it has been hard for me to keep the faith and to not get frustrated and whatever. And then, once I started being positive about it and just knowing that God is going to fill fulfill his promise and really working hard on my personal development, doing like an hour at least every single day, doing an, at least an hour of devotion time every single day. Those are the changes that I made and I just stayed patient even though it was hard and then God changed everything. I got my biggest paycheck I've ever gotten yet I work less hours than I usually work. So I'm not saying that to brag, I'm s- saying that to encourage you that you've got to do the same. It's important to feed your mind with positive things because what you think is how you're going to act and what you're going to say. So if you're constantly thinking about negative things all the time, not believing in yourself, Amy talked a lot about that yesterday, you're not going to be able to do this business, you guys. And that's why I struggled for so long because I didn't believe in myself. I didn't believe in the company. I didn't believe in the coaching opportunity, whatever. Because I wasn't feeding my mind with the right kind of personal development. So if you're not doing your personal development, I just want to take you and shake you right now. Because it's the easiest thing to do. When I say the easiest, I mean all you got to do is pick out a book or pick out a video, audio, whatever, of whatever topic it is you're struggling with. Now that's always going to be different, but it just depends on where you are in your business. But it's important to really... Kind of have like a self-examination and be like, all right, this is what I really, really need help with right now. And when you're feeding your mind with positive things, it's not even just about personal development. It's about every area of your life, okay? And I'll kind of give you an example. After I lost 60 pounds, obviously I had to make a lot of lifestyle changes to do that. Then I became really into health and fitness. So the old Jessica, the one that smoked a pack of cigarettes a day and went out partying every night with her friends and could give two craps less about being positive or anything like that, I had to change a lot of things in my life. I had to feed my mind with a lot of different things. And part of that is the people that you surround yourself with. And I hate to say it, but I've literally had to basically make new friends, okay? And I love all my friends equally. I love all the people that have ever been in my life. And I know people all come in our life for a reason. But if you're surrounding yourself with people that are negative and make you doubt yourself and they don't lift you up and encourage you, and maybe it's not even that they don't lift you up and encourage you or maybe they're not being negative directly towards you, but if they're just negative people in general, like, you know, those type of people that you are around and they just like suck the energy out of you while you're done after you're done hanging out with them like they're not positive they're not a good influence those kind of people you've got to really really take a good look at who you're spending your time with and the types of things that you're putting into your mind and another thing for me was I had to stop watching tv I'm not going to say I don't ever watch tv but when I do 
it's usually because I'm so worn out that I just need to like unplug and do something where I just don't think. So I watch NCIS because I like that show. But watching too much TV was not helping me. It was not feeding my mind with things that were positive that were going to help me out. Even some music I used to listen to. Now, I don't listen to Christian music all the time now. I listen to other stuff too. But it's stuff that makes me happy. Like, I mean, there's some stuff out there that just isn't going to make you happy. Like, there's some sad songs that you can listen to that isn't going to put you in a good mood. So it's really all about your entire environment, your entire surroundings. Take a look at how you're spending your time, what you're doing, what you're listening to, and who you're spending time with. Because it is going to make you the person that you are. So if right now you're struggling with doubts, if you're struggling with fears... If you're struggling with feeling like you can't do this business, feeling like it's never going to work for you, you have got to change all of those areas. Now, don't be overwhelmed. Do it one step at a time, one area at a time. Because if you try to do it all at once, it's just not going to work. But I really want you to think about all those areas and look at it, okay? And I, like I said, if you're not doing your personal development, you need to do it now. There are so many different books out there by Danny Johnson. Gosh, what else have I read? Dave Ramsey's a really good person to read. Um, Brian Tracy. I mean, and I just finished a book about social media for personal development because that was something I wanted help with. I mean, there's so many different things that you can do. Um, and I highly encourage you, if you're not a spiritual person or if maybe your relationship with God isn't where it used to be, think about that too. Because that's the one thing for me that if my relationship with God is falling and it's not in balance like it was before, then that throws off every other area of my life. So you got to think about all those things. Okay, so that's all about feeding your mind. got to put positive things in. Write your goals down. Think about how you want your life to look like. And believe me, you guys, I struggle with toxic thoughts and negativity and doubt and fear every single day of my life. That is why I have to work so hard on personal development and doing so much devotion time. That's that's why I have to do that because I struggle with those things every day. But what we have to do is take those negative thoughts and replace them with positive thoughts. And think about how God looks at you and how what God believes about you and don't think about how you view yourself. Think about how God views you. So that's my rant about feeding your mind. The second thing I wanted to talk about is time management. Now, this is the one area I also used to struggle with because I get distracted very easily. It's just my personality type. I have the tendency to talk too much, and I have the tendency to talk about stuff that sometimes doesn't even matter. So time management was something that I really, really, really had to get a grip on. Um... Now we have what we call the power hour when you're doing your business activity tracker. So you want to make sure that you're organized and you're using that business activity tracker. Make sure you're writing down all your lists, all your prospects, all the people that you're forming, all of your exposures, your coach prospects, and keep it in an organized way so that when you're following up with them, you have a system. What I do on my bat is I have a different tab for each of those categories. I have the date that I talked to them and their name and whatever social media network it's on. And then I highlight it off, highlight their names off when I follow up with them. So make sure that you're doing all of that and be organized. Um, another thing that you can do, this is kind of the whole idea of the power hour, is set a timer. Tell yourself, all right, I'm going to put forth one hour today because that's all I have. Don't look at your news feed. Don't look at all the little notifications that go off. If you stay really, really, really focused, you would not believe how much you can get done in a short amount of time. I mean, my normal work day is four hours, but there was a couple of days last week where I had a very little bit amount of time, and somehow I was able to fit in what usually takes me eight hours into three hours. But it's because I was very focused and I didn't let any distractions get in the way. For example, I have to put my cell phone up when I'm working because if I don't, then I'm gonna, I get text messages all day long and I get notifications all day long. So if I let that distract me, then I'm never gonna get my work done. Don't watch TV while you're working. You know, if you're around other people, try to just stay really focused on what you're doing just for that specific amount of time. If you don't learn how to manage your time, you're going to overwork yourself, you're going to be miserable, and you're not gonna be happy with this business. 
it's possible to do all of this in an hour a day. So if there's things that are taking you longer, I want you to really look at them and think, how are they benefiting my business? Is this an income generating activity? And I don't mean that talking to a friend or helping someone out for free is not a bad thing. I fully believe in that. I All I want to do is help people. Money isn't the most important thing to me. But you join this business for a reason. You have a financial goal. You're doing this to help other people, but to also achieve your financial goals. So if you're doing activities that are not income generating, then I would highly recommend you just stop doing them if you don't have enough time, if you're struggling with time. Um, some examples of that would be just going through the news feed and commenting on stuff that has nothing to do with Beachbody. Um, let me think of what else. Um, making flyers that, I mean, I make flyers for you guys to use, but that's not an income generating activity specifically for me right away off the bat. Spending too much time doing things like that, um, spending too much time planning out your social media stuff. I mean, of course you want to spend time on it, but those are not things that are going to be income generating right away. Things that you need to be focusing on are inviting, 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 because that's the number one income generator. And you need to be focusing on following up with your prospects, following up with the people you're forming, and doing your personal development, like I said, because although that is not going to make you income right away, once you work on yourself and become a better person, your income will always go up. And then just being proof the products work. Sharing on social media, that only takes a few minutes a day. But if you're not doing that every day, your income, you're actually probably, what's the word that I'm looking for? There's money out there that you're not getting. That there's income out there you're not generating because you're not sharing with people about what you're doing. So keep that in mind for all of, all of those that are afraid of sharing on social media. It's proven that when you share every single day, people are going to start to ask you questions. We see it happen all the time. So learn how to manage your time. Be organized with it. If you need some more tips on how to do this, Shalene Johnson has some great stuff on her website. The 30-day free push challenge is awesome. I did it a couple of times. I've done it once a year, every year for the past couple of years. And just reach out to your sponsoring coach if you're struggling with these things. I've struggled, like I said, myself with this several times, but we can work through it and we can make it happen. So in review, remember how important it is to feed your mind positivity, surround yourself with positivity, positive people, positive environment in general, personal development, it'll change your life. And learn how to manage your time and not let those distractions get the best of you. Hope this helps you guys. We're almost done. We just have a few days left. So have a great day and let us know if you have questions. Thanks.